Look at that. And the chunks of corn coming out makes it look really good. Yes, it came out really well. So, I hope my wife loves it. Yes, of course I'm going to like it. And I'm going to enjoy. It's a great recipe. Hi everybody and welcome to Robert the Kenyan Chef channel. And today my husband will be preparing for me cornbread. I like cornbread so much. So here he is to tell us the steps to preparing cornbread. I will be making cornbread for my beautiful wife because she loves cornbread so much. And let's get started on the ingredients. Two eggs, sugar, all-purpose flour, we have baking powder, half and half, corn, because I like to put corn in my cornbread. Some butter, salt, and cornmeal. Okay, let's get started. First thing that I have to do is get one cup of flour. Then I have my sifter, I gotta sift the flour. Oh, that's a nice powder. That looks good. And now, have the cornmeal. And that's also going to be one cup. Thank you. Now I'm going to be adding baking powder and salt. So I'm going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. This is a mixture of the flour, cornmeal, salt, baking powder, and sugar. I'm mixing all my ingredients together to ensure that everything is well mixed. Now we're gonna take the two eggs. I'm gonna beat the eggs. Next, I will need a quarter cup of melted butter. Can you please melt this for me? Now that the butter is melted, I'm gonna add that to my eggs. I have my half and half. That's gonna be the next thing I add to my eggs. 
and it's going to be one whole cup. And then I'm going to add my corn. Then I'm going to stir everything together. Have to be careful. Yeah. That you don't spill. And while I'm stirring it a little bit, I'm going to get the pan all greased up. I'm greasing the pan up with butter. The butter actually makes it so when it's baking, it doesn't stick to the pan. Now I'm going to be mixing everything together. But you only want to mix it for about 10-15 seconds. Because if you mix it any more than that, then the cornbread's going to be really tough. And it's not going to taste well and it's not going to come out very well. You just don't want to over, over mix it. Over mixing is very bad for the cornbread. You just want to mix it enough. Where everything's mixed, and that looks really good. It looks really good. Okay, and now it's time to pour it in the pan. Make sure we get every little bit out. Now I'm trying to make it all nice and even. And look at that. That looks really good. And that's ready to bake in the oven. Now I'm going to preheat the oven for 400 degrees. Now that my oven is preheated to 400 degrees, now it's time to put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Hooey! My cornbread is now ready. Now I'm gonna be taking it out of the oven. Hooey, it looks really good. Look at that, that looks good. Now we're gonna do the toothpick test. I put the toothpick in here to check to see if it's ready. I pull it out. I don't see anything sticking to the toothpick. That means it's ready to cut and serve. Yes, thank you so much for making me a cornbread. You're welcome. So now it's my turn to cut my cornbread and enjoy, right? Yes. Is it soft? While you're cutting into it? Yeah. That's good. So I'm gonna use this. I thought you were gonna take the smaller piece. No, no, no. <laughs> Ooh, look how moist that looks. Look at that. Look at that. And the chunks of corn coming out makes it look really good. This tastes really good. It must taste very, very good. You see? And I'm always good at making really good cornbread. Yeah. This is our cornbread. It looks so delicious. I have tested it and it tastes so nice. Yes, it came out really well. So I hope my wife loves it. Yes, of course I'm going to like it. And I'm going to enjoy. 
It's a great recipe. Yes, please, if you liked our video and our recipe for making cornbread, please subscribe for more upcoming videos on how to prepare tasty meals. That's right. Bye. And Bye. see you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.